here. Oh, let's try again. Having some trouble with the internet this morning. Good morning, everyone, and good morning, Kaufman County. It's Friday, and the sun is out for now. We are having the most beautiful spring. In the midst of difficulties, God always gives extra blessings, and it just feels like the beauty of this spring in North Texas is one of those. Yesterday, our team was out serving our senior adults in Kaufman County. Uh, they went out as they were serving not only for members of our church, but also some new people that we're learning have needs, and they're doing such a great job. What they're finding is what I guess maybe we already know, that there are so many people in our county who are cut off from family, who have very few friends, who rarely if ever get out of the house, and that was even true before all of this, who don't have a church family and who are really struggling through these days. I was just reminded that the family of God is God's plan for helping us through difficult times. If you know someone who is out of church, this would be a good time to reach out to them and do whatever it takes to include them in ours during these difficult days. Let's begin in prayer. God, thanks a lot for this morning and the good day that's ahead for us. We love you and we're so glad for the beauty we see all around us. Help us to enjoy the little gifts and blessings you bring to us. And it's in Jesus' name we pray all this. Amen. Well, today I want to wrap up this week of talking about battling against discouragement by asking you to think on two important verses that have been a great help to me on difficult days. The first is Romans 15, 13. It says this, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that you may, by the power of the Holy Spirit, abound in hope. This morning, I want you to see how these, poor, these four powerful things work together. Hope, joy, peace, and power. To defeat discouragement, hope is the act of trusting in God to handle the future. And our hope grows deeper through days just like the ones we're enduring right now. Paul writes in Romans 5, verses 2 through 5, Through him we also have obtained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand, and we rejoice in hope, the hope of the glory of God. More than that, we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, endurance produces character, and character produces hope. And hope does not disappoint us. Because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has given us this. Now, did you catch that? Paul said one of the reasons we should rejoice in suffering is that it is the thing that produces endurance, or really grit. And endurance is the thing that produces character. Character, that's the transformation of who we really are, our person. And when we have character, we become transformed in such a way by walking through these faith-filled valleys and difficulties in life that when we have all of those things in place, that character is what gives us hope. So there's good reason for us to understand that even these difficult days provide us reason to be joyful and to find some reason to rejoice. And not that they're good and not that they're not difficult, but in the middle of these, God is at work. And by faith, if we'll look to him, it makes a big difference. I mean, we are enduring. But God is doing good in the middle of all of that. When we become people of hope, we find joy in knowing God's at work. We find peace because we know God is good and can be trusted no matter what happens. He will make us victorious. And knowing that we're going to win and that he's going to make us a people with more grit and more strength, and somehow that gives us reason to push back against discouragement and feel good about even the bad things that are happening. I think what Paul is saying is that like an athlete who lifts weights, when it comes to matters of our spirit and soul, it takes some strain to make us strong. And there's no way around that part of the development of our person and character. That's true for you and it's true for me. It's true for our whole nation and world. It's also true that God is working to refine and strengthen his church through these difficult days. It's his promise from the book of Romans. Let's count on that today and somehow take some hope and find some encouragement, something to push back against the discouragement in knowing that this is true. God, again, we give you this day, and I pray that once more you wouldn't waste this hurt in our lives and the life of your church around the world. God, I pray that five and ten years from now we would look back and we would see that this moment was an important moment for the strengthening, the grittiness, and the power of your church. We see the connection between pain and suffering and power. And God, we know that you didn't cause this epidemic, but we do know that you are a God that can use it to good, that wants to use it for good. And I pray that we'd be open to it and that even we would find rejoicing, reason to rejoice in our sufferings knowing that you're doing this work. 
And it's in Jesus' name we pray all this. Amen. Well, I hope you're having a good day today. I hope you do. Today we have Rough and Tumble Joy at 10 o'clock. Uh, John is continuing to walk through Psalms at 1. Um, later on, our worship team is going to premiere a new video that's at 2 o'clock. And then we will meet another family from our church at 4. That's been a lot of fun. Uh, Yoel is leading an online worship experience at 7 o'clock. And please be listening for an important phone message from me this afternoon. Uh, we're going to be talking more about Holy Week and about how we're going to begin all that. Um, and so I want you to be on top of all that. So please be paying attention to your phone uh, this afternoon. Well, friends, keep your eyes on God today. He is with us. He's working even in the valley. Feel him making you stronger and more than you would have been if he wasn't with you. I love you all. Have a great day.